Hello, we are going to talk about milestones in a project and how to use them in reports with the board or with the steering committee of a, of a project. So before to, to go ahead, let's recover and get back to where we were. So I'm back here to that project, which is the CRM project, which uh, first set of tasks, which are the initiation, a second set of tasks, which is the planning in itself. And after I have the part where we do really the work, which is the execution. Execution, we have a first part, which is selection, then system integration, then test and training. Once all that is done, we'll go to production. So, now about milestones. When you have a project, you will find at certain moments important events. Milestones are here to underline important events during the life cycle of the project. They can also illustrate key events in the course of the project. So, for example, here, we start the project from the ID, we discuss it, we do the project proposition and at one point there will be the approval. So for me it's always a good point to set the approval as a milestone. So how do I do that? I select the task here and I simply set for that task a duration of zero day. So you will see now what will happen here about the, the task. By setting it to zero day, it has changed its shape to a diamond shape, which means this is what we call a milestone. What I intend to show by showing the milestone is to say, okay, here is an important date. It's when our project is going to be approved. I will add here below in the planning another milestone because milestones can also be used for deliverables so what I will do here I will ins insert a task which is the plan in itself meaning I have a deliverable here which is a plan of the project so I entitled this just plan and once again the duration of this element I set it to zero day I will say that this will be done once we went through the planning session. So the predecessor is the number six. I will jump down in this project. In this project, it's an IT project in by which we will install certain elements. So at one point, I will put here in production the system. To do that, you see here that I already have set, I moved a bit away, ahead, I mean, with a task which is called in production. It's not a real task because it lasts zero day, so you will already understand that I have shaped here a milestone. By giving here zero day to a defined date which corresponds to the date by which we want to take the system into production, it allows me here to see the diamond symbolizing a milestone. Here it is the 3rd of November by which we must be into production. Um, sometimes the, there is a task that needs to be done before. It's to decide whether we are going to go on production or not. So in order to do that, if we want to be in production the 3rd November, it may be good to set the date when we are going to decide whether we go on production or not. And I propose that we set that date two weeks before. So in order to do that, I will do the, the following. I will here add a task. And I will call the, the task here um, the go for production. Go for production. Go for production, I will set it depending on the task, which is really the production day, which is the number 34. And what I will do now you will see that I will give a delay. 
So to do that, I go to the task information. I go to predecessors and you see here I have defined the task 34 in production as a predecessor. What I will set here is a lag of 10 days but since it's before it will be minus 10 days so minus 10 D and we'll see what happens okay now we have a task here which has been added which is 10 days before the production with that I have now milestones on my line on my planning I have added also another milestone I've done that I won't go with you again through all that we have here the processes the tasks which are closing the project at the end there is one last steering committee which is the project steering committee where we close all the project I've set it also here as a milestone so see you soon bye